Well, morning and uh, welcome to Last Cast, or should I say A Up, as the traditional presenter says. It's uh, the 3rd of April 2016, and here we are at Lapwing Lake, which is part of the Legion District Amalgamated Society of Anglers. Uh, that's a long thing to say, first thing in the morning. It's uh, part of the Legion District uh, portfolio of fisheries. Uh, it's a commercial with, uh, with three lakes, and we're match fishing Lapwing Lake today. That's the lads from uh, Fordham AC. There's 12 of us on it. Um, it had a good weight out yesterday, £100 on it, with a couple of 60s and 40s. So uh, we're hoping it's going to do something similar today. So we'll, uh, we'll leave you to it and uh, we'll be back soon and see how we all go on. And uh, we'll have a few videos as we go through the day, catching the different lads, see what techniques they're using. Um, Aidan's looking good in the corner, so we'll keep his eye on him. Uh, Peg9 had £100 out of it, which is uh, Andy. So we'll see how Andy goes on. He's used to pulling barbel and chub out on the rivers, but see if he uh, manages to get some of these wild carp out of here. So for now, I'll sign up and uh, sign off, and we shall catch you soon. Okay, I'm going to put them back. I'm struggling to be honest, Bob. It's uh, watching everybody else catch fish, but I'm not really catching many myself. I had one first cast within about 15 seconds, and then it all went quiet for a while. And then I lost one that straightened the hook, and since then I've had a little skimmer brain and another little plastic air, and I haven't had a bite for about an hour. Not too good then. Not too good. No. There's time yet. There's plenty of time yet, yes. The show's not over until the fat lady sings. What what I've noticed is a lot of pink water. Yeah, oh yeah, they're topping like the topping like the nut tomorrow in this corner. In, in, they're not just topping. Yeah. They're coming right out like yeah, porpoise seen in. It. You see them here, you know it works, here. Yeah. Yeah, I keep sticking float rod down margins like up, and I'm feeding margin really heavily. Um, and I'm just sort of kind of hoping that... Hoping that um, later on in the afternoon they uh, come on. He brought me a little bit of luck. It's only a pasty, but they all count. my future drop shot in rob this oh, yes. everybody else seems to be catching five and six pounders and I keep catching these like three quarters of a pounder As you can see, I'm not a professional match fisherman, I don't have on with yourself, right. How are you doing, Russia? Don't ask, me. Why? I think I've lost my mojo. Yeah, what you caught? I can't go into too much detail, but... 
I had one car and lots of good gin. Well, not too good then? No mate, no, not good at all. I are expecting great things today. It's not happening. A few hours left, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but well, come on. Last hour, that'll be it. Mate. That's when I'll come good. I'm relying on John Boy. I think John Boy's going to drag it through. He'll save the day. So how's it going, Brent? Great. What you had? Worn. Worn? <laughs> yeah. One, one good gin. One poxy car. Not too good, is it? And three bites. Oh, I've had three bites all day. Seems to be very peggy. I just can't find them. They're, uh, I'm just getting the odd bites here and there. And I think I just dropped lucky on a one in the reeds early on. You know, they might turn on in the end. Then again, the way things are going, they probably will. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Please don't come off. Found. Not massive. Exactly the same spot the last one came out though. Right hey? Right yeah, literally banging the uh, the bait into the um, the reeds. I don't think I've got the uh, luxury of that. <laughs> Uh, it might not even be that, it might be a pound. It's not much bigger than your perch. Cheers, Bob. Camera curse, it is. Mm -hmm. I hope you got that. <laughs> Yeah, 
Hey, Rishi's caught one. <laughs> Just been one passing through. Oh, that's negative. Very negative. <laughs> You've got to have confidence. That when confidence comes, it's when you catch fish. It was definitely just one passing through. <laughs> Oop. There's its mate. Barble and oh, I want to come in this one. It's definitely a wanna be barble this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, big beast again. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 9.14. 9.14. Is that you, Shane? We've got a good gene there. We That's before I realised I'm going to have a silver's day. It's changing, it's going up and down. It's like an average. Yeah. 26. It's 15. 12. 15 something. 13. 15, 12, 13. 13. 12. 11. 15, 13. 13. 15, 12. 13. 12. 13. 12. 12. 12. 12. It's 12 breed most. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> They're not jumping about. <laughs> Come on! 13-6. 13-6. Oh, 
Other than a fart, I didn't think there were double figures. <laughs> Add a couple of pounds on. I reckon 20 pounds. Two double figures. 20 pounds, 10. <laughs> but one of them might have escaped. I think it's still 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, 23, 7, Beat me, haven't you? Somebody say something. 36, 10. 36, 10. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So well done, guys. Give it to me. Yeah, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds for the deal. It cost me twenty quid in petrol to get here. Twenty quid as well. Feel bounded up like a messy bag. I'm breaking it. Right, and the individuals was Danny who fished very well today. I thought Danny was going to win it myself, but obviously didn't see young Nat in this corner. With thirty-six pounds ten, well done, Dan. No money, I'm afraid. And second was Mick. With £43.4. Oh, very good. Well Thank done, you. bud. 12 quid for you. That's oh, well done. 12 quid. And then the winner. <laughs> I've dropped my land in the handle. <laughs> I'll buy it anyway. You've got £57.7. Well done, it's mate. Well. 20 quid for you. And uh, well of course, you get the prestigious Park trophy. There you go. Sells myself. Don't break it. Get the camera out. Get the Park trophy. <laughs> I think you should go back into it. Well done. For Christ's sake, don't take up pike fishing again. <laughs> right, lads, excellent. Did you Very good. Well, the day's come to an end. It's been a, a good day out with the lads again. We've all caught some fish, some more than others. Uh, it turned out with the wind blowing down this way, it was tending to blow all the fish down into that corner, so. All the good anglers up here, like myself and Eddie, seem to struggle for some reason. Did I say that right, Eddie? Yeah, okay, mate. Yeah, yeah and uh, the lads down at the bottom end did really well. We finished up, uh, young Nat took the honours with the £57.7, he did really well. Some nice carp, really nice carp in his net. And uh, he got them from the far side of the island and then down the edge. Obviously, I'll say the wind must have been blowing them down and all the food, and they followed it down there. Oh, so that's what it says in the textbook. Uh, so Nat won it with £57. Then close behind him was uh, Patterdale Mick with 43, again fishing into the same corner, some uh, some nice carp there. Uh, and then third was Danny, who was opposite me. He was uh, he was banging him out all day long. I thought Danny was going to take the honours, and uh, that's that's the peg next to the peg which won it with 100 odd pound yesterday. So uh, obviously the fish are still hanging around there. But all in all, a good day, a good day. Uh, the only downside is uh, John Boy beat me, but he's over there practicing again. <laughs> But anyway, that's it. That's another uh, episode of Last Cast, something different, and uh, a match, a match with the lads, which was uh, always a nice day out. So hopefully, uh, catch up with us again next time. Um, who knows what it'll be next? We're running out of uh, fishing topics, but uh, we've got the old drop shot in to try and uh, a few other things. I'm sure we'll give give something to go anyway. But uh, thanks again for joining us, and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you later, guys.